Hello everyone. Today I'm going to talk about coronary viral stenosis imaging. First of all, we have to understand what is the pulmonary valve stenosis. Pulmonary valve stenosis means there is a lesion which can be a result in obstruction of pulmonary valve and Postenotic dilatation of pulmonary trunk and white pulmonary artery. So we mean that there is something that causes obstruction to the pulmonary valve and post stenotic dilatation of pulmonary trunk and black pulmonary artery. So this semi so morphology feature of pulmonary stenosis created by the fuse sickening of pulmonary valve method and fusion near the commissure, which result in narrowing of the valve orifice. Demography. Age of presentation depends on severity of obstruction. Male and female is the same. Ratio. Present, re represent 10% of all congenital cardiac defect. 8 to 12% of all congenital cardiac defect in children. I suggest former stenosis with intact ventricular septum is second most common defect. HLG. Conscient or more common HLG of only valve stenosis isolated in 80% of cases, additional form of congenital heart disease present in 20% of cases of Tetralogy of fellow, fellow, acquired carcinoid syndrome, most common cause of acquired pulmonary stenosis, associated with trichospid valve disease. From the heart disease, stenosis is rare, even if valve is affected, mitral and erotic valve are affected. Mass extrinsic narrowing right ventricular outflow tract, intrinsic in thrombus vegetation, following surgery, sub valvular stenosis could be congenital, iatrogenic. Yat and supravalvular stenosis at pulmonary trunk or more distally may be caused by a membrane. Besides that, also related to genetic, generally considered to be multifactory in origin, familiar form have been described may be associated with genetic disorder like valvular uh, pulmonary stenosis, something like the, in the Nuna syndrome. Supravalvular pulmonary stenosis related to Oropla syndrome, Valium syndrome, and may be associated with other abnormalities like atrial septal defect, PSD, Patent for a man over or TOS. TOS. Top differential diagnosis of pulmonary valve stenosis is first one we have to think about hypoplasia of the right 
The best clue for diagnosis is enlargement of pulmonary trunk and left pulmonary artery. Location, valvula up to 90% subvalvula and supravalvula. In large radiology, we have to find the enlarged of pulmonary trunk. So the evidence with convexity along left mediastinium, mediastinal border, inferior to aortic arch. Second, we have to find a large or left pulmonary artery may be present. Second, we have to find the right ventricular enlargement. This radiograph so in a patient with congenital pulmonary stenosis demonstrate a large pulmonary trunk. And left pulmonary artery. Pulmonary artery enlargement is the most common radiograph apparent of pulmonary stenosis. The light will be drawn and in light left pulmonary artery. In the CT, CT and a contrast enhanced CT, so dilated of pulmonary trunk and left pulmonary artery, right ventricular, ventricular enlargement, or call pericardial calcification in whole aorta and pulmonary trunk reported as unusual cause of acquired pulmonary stenosis, cardiacated CTA, can find second immobile while like that, small pulmonary wall area and annulus, hypoplasia or supra pulmonary trunk may be present. So this CT of a patient with pulmonary stenosis demonstrate in light of the pulmonary trunk. And left pulmonary artery consistent with post stenotic dilatation of this vessel. This CT of a patient with a symptomatic pulmonary stenosis, so second of the pulmonic valve leaflet. CT and MO may demonstrate a lower the of the pulmonic valve. Let that size as sickening children and immobility during dynamic imaging. The CT image so sickening of the left ventricular myocardium, characteristic pulmonary artery enlargement, and sickening of pulmonic valve liquid. were also seen in this patient, which not seen in this image. How am I finding? We can find the morphological abnormality of pulmonary valve. We can see the or assess a high velocity stenotic chat produce dark signals through valve, enlargement of pulmonary trunk and left pulmonary artery, diverticular hypertrophy delayed by dilation 
and this function quantify supraventricular narrowing of pulmonary artery sinoventricular junction above one sub valvula right when the hypertrophy and narrowing associated with congenital normality. Fast contrast imaging, visual line of stenotic shed through what into pulmonary artery, quantification of pulmonary stenosis velocity and place of gradient. And in amount and geography, show in large of pulmonary trunk and left pulmonary artery. My image demonstrates sickening of left leg of the pulmonic valve and drive and the call muscular hypertrophy secondary to long standing pulmonary stenosis. My image so check not. Signal the passing arising from the pulmonic valves consistent with severe pulmonary stenosis, sickening of the pulmonic valve leaflet. Also noted, patient with the moderate to severe pulmonary stenosis at her treat with balloon valve plastic or surgical loads for me. This image so linear hyper hypo intensity shed arising from the pulmonic wire consistent with severe pulmonary stenosis Severe pulmonary stenosis may be caused back into the pre pressure gradient across the pulmonic valve or pulmonic valve area. This image so slit like turbulent flow through a pulmonary valve, indicative of severe stenosis. Echo Cardiography finding of the sickening of the valve leaflet, restricted systolic motion and reduced mobility of valve leaflet, doming or windshock appearance of the pulmonic valve, postenotic dilatation of pulmonary artery, in polar doppler. We can see systolic high velocity flow jet in pulmonary alpha track. This image show a Doppler scan of the peak velocity around 5.2 m per second and gradient peak 109. Millimeter HD mean 65 mm HD across the valve. And this is also the case of pulmonic stenosis. It goes on the second pulmonary valve. This image shows severe pulmonary valve stenosis on 2D and color the play image and calculated maximal transvalvular pressure gradient on continue where the play imaging and see the shape of left and the curve on parastenosis view before intra. Corporeal membrane oxygenation insertion. Angiographic finding not indicate in mild or moderate pulmonary vastenosis. Patient with severe pulmonary vastenosis undergo culture catheterization or confirmatory pressure assessment. 
concomitant balloon bubble capacity may be performed useful in evaluating morphology of pulmonary outflow tract, pulmonary artery stenosis, and arrive in the car. This image shows an area of circumferential high grade stenosis of pulmonary valve with mild postenotic dilatation of the main pulmonary artery. Treatment Trivial and mild pulmonary stenosis can be observation, moderate and severe balloon valvuloplasty or surgical valvulotomy. Thank you.